Why? What does sex have to do with it? Sex has nothing to do with it. I need to get louder so that you, your heart, there's something in your ears blocking your ears from hearing that God loves you. Because uh, alarms, alarms will do that when it's time to wake up. Nobody likes to wake up and go to work, but they'll lose their job if they don't, right? Or if your house is wasted life, think of it like this. When people say, I got wasted, they just wasted their life. And we're at the waste management open. So it's free gift. What about mushrooms? What about mushrooms? Yeah. Well, you can put them on your pizza. <laughs> but there are some mushrooms you shouldn't eat, just like there's some plants you shouldn't eat. That's some plants that will mess you up, some berries that will send you to the hospital if you try to eat them. So rather than looking for answers from mushrooms, look for answers from God. Because God is spirit. He can reach you without a substance. God can Refuge at the cross, God will put your sin to death. It was good talking to you guys. I need to, I need to be saved because I'm not really saved. Right. Jesus king. What? Jesus king. Make him king in your life. <laughs> I've, been, I've been trying to get my friends. Uh -huh. Because I, I, I still pray to God even though that I'm, I get drunk. I heard God. Yeah. Yeah, it's... yeah. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Today's the day, guys. God's calling everyone everywhere to turn to Jesus, to look to Jesus, to look to Jesus because he died for you. 2,000 years ago, God came into this world and he lived a perfect sinless life and he died for you. Who thinks he'd be for you? What's that? Why? What does sex have to do with it? Sex has nothing to do with it. I need to get louder so that you, your heart, there's something in your ears blocking your ears from hearing that God loves you. Because uh, alarms, alarms will do that when it's time to wake up. Nobody likes to wake up and go to work, but they'll lose their job if they don't, right? Or if your house is on fire, you want it to be really loud and really annoying so that you don't sleep through the alarm and die in the flames. And you see, in the same way, God, God, he loves us and he's trying to get our attention. So even at the waste management open, you'll come to church and be at church for the first time in years because this is church out here today. It's called Greenway Hayden and Frank Lloyd Wright Church. And Jesus is calling everybody, even the worst sinners, out of sin because sin is destructive. Well, God can save even the worst sinners. Well, and he can save even the, the least of sinners. We all need we all need saving. Because the life, the wasted life, think of it like this. When people say, I got wasted, they just wasted their life. And we're at the waste management open. So rather than get wasted, waste your sin. Put sin to death before it puts you to death. You know, Jesus Christ, he died paying a high price so that people wouldn't have to go to hell. See, God is just and holy. The God of the universe created laws. There's law and there's order. I'll give you an example. You jump off of a building or out of a plane without a parachute, you're going to die. That law of gravity is going to have effect. God's righteous, perfect, holy law will have effect in your life even if you don't believe in it. And see, without Jesus Christ paying your debt, taking sin on his shoulders, the Bible says there'd be hell to pay. And so if people reject God's free gift. What about mushrooms? What about mushrooms? Yeah. Well, you can put them on your pizza. <laughs> but there are some mushrooms you shouldn't eat, just like there's some plants you shouldn't eat. Some plants that will mess you up, some berries that will send you to the hospital if you try to eat them. So rather than looking for answers through mushrooms, Look for answers from God, because God is spirit. He can reach you without a substance. God can reach you if you're open, just right even here when you're at the waste management open. If you'll just say yes to Jesus, that's what it comes down to, guys, saying yes to Jesus. Yes to Jesus and no to the devil. So we want to challenge everybody out here today that's going to the waste management open to be open to the Lord Jesus, because he's open to you. He's open to you, but you have to turn from sin and turn to Him. You have to turn away from sin and turn to Him. That's what it takes. You see, when you're looking in the wrong direction, you'll never head in the wrong right direction. When you're looking in the wrong direction, you'll never be going in the right direction. What God calls everybody to is to look to the cross, to look to Jesus.
and to be saved. To be saved. To be saved. Each person, have you been saved, miss? Is Jesus the Lord of your life? Absolutely. Are you guys obeying the Lord in your life and obedience to him and holiness and righteousness? Okay, praise the Lord. My encouragement to everybody out here that is a Christian, because there's some people that are totally not Christian and there's some that are, is put sin to death before it puts you to death. Today is the day, guys. God's calling everyone, everywhere out here at the open to look to Jesus and to be saved. To look to the Lord, to look to the cross, and to live. You see, there's a price for sin. Just like there's a price for every step you take. Every step you take costs you a calorie. Every heartbeat costs you a little bit of potassium and sodium. Because without those two things, your heart would stop beating. In the same way, sin costs something. Sin costs judgment. The wages of sin is death separation from God and if you die in separation from God the Bible says that leads to hell but God is not wanting anybody to perish and to go to hell he wants each person to be saved and come to a, a knowledge of the truth and the way that that happens is through Jesus Jesus said I am the way I am the truth and I'm the life no one can come to God apart from me and why is that you see in order to go in the right direction you got to be going the right way Jesus is the right way in order to not be deceived by lies you got to know the truth Jesus is the truth and in order to escape death you got to know the source of life which is God you have to know Jesus Jesus conquered death he's the only person in history that did what no one else could do he conquered sin and he conquered death he rose from the dead three days later and all of history has been changed by this message of love and redemption now sometimes people grow up in dead false religion you know people grow up Catholic and then they get turned off to God and people don't want to confess to a priest and all of that's great because God doesn't really want you looking to somebody other than him he wants you looking to Jesus for your salvation not to a priest not to a pope not to a pastor but he wants your life to be changed and to be are you, are you guys obeying him you're not going to get wasted today you can't get hi I, I don't thank you i don't because i don't know people i don't know if they're mocking okay. me or anything no no we go to church every sunday i'm hugging you for okay. doing this sometimes a lot of times people come up and they like literally no. mock me and then they curse me no, right no. after hugging me no it's oh. a genuine hug for thank okay you for doing that. okay so, praise yeah. the lord praise yeah. the lord no we go to church every sunday we got okay. married in the catholic church just thank you okay thank you are you living holy for the lord we're doing our best rather than do your best let the holy spirit have total control that's what it's about because in catholicism there's all these do's and don'ts there's yeah. the catechism the bible has things that totally contradict different doctrines in the catholic church god god wants you to just go solely after him why not are you attached to the catholic church because you were raised catholic no oh so no, we chose it but you're saying it's hard so were you saying it's hard to do all well, the it's hard to do the right things when the entire society oh. we live in points us in the other direction that's all. right but what i'm saying is to have the relationship with god that god wants you to have it can't come through an institution like the catholic church is an institution right yep. and you know most of the things in history that popes have done were horrible horrendous things and a lot of the beliefs even catholics hold today are there because the pope has the authority to say this is the truth and then nobody goes and changes it yep. which means that there can be even things that you believe today that jesus if he were here he'd say i didn't intend you to believe that, that. Yeah. so do you read the bible we do okay do you yeah. read it every day we do okay then god i'm serious in love god's gonna call you out of the catholic church yeah truly this is not like a, okay like, like a thank you like yeah. you're holding a heavy cross like